Yeah, you know that. You know, we're trying to we're, we're trying to change shit, and uh, one of the ways to change is to embarrass the Nevada State Athletic Commission. That's why I decided to do it to start talking shit about them. Oh, I've only begun. That was just the first shot. I have to be controversial, I have to do it on the air, but I also have to be fairly respectful, but get him to engage me. Now, once he talks back to me, then I'm like, oh shit, now you're like a heckler. Oh, here we go! So, so now I got him, now he's confused, and so we're gonna talk more after I say some shit about him at the next UFC, and it's gonna get crazier and crazier. He's an idiot, he's a politician, they all suck, they all suck, they're terrible. There's no way you can get to be a politician unless you're fucking terrible. It's just too creepy. The whole business is fucked. Why would you want to run things? If you want to run things, it's almost always because you're a douchebag. Almost always. And there's a fucking a whole group of douchebags trying not to be douchey and being all transparent, you know? That's why this WikiLeaks shit is good. We need to know what douchebags are truly up to. In America, man, it's fucking getting scary because they're starting to realize how many fucking idiots we have and that those idiots are willing to vote. That's why people like Sarah Palin, they're like fucking test probes. That bitch isn't even from America, all right? She's a robot from Alaska. And Alaska is not America because Alaska's not attached. Yeah, exactly. It is. Any shit that's not attached is just shit we stole, all right? That cut needs to get back in her and shut the fuck up because that's a frozen Puerto Rico. That's what that is. Crazy. You wouldn't want to do it. You Arnold should. tried it, but he's like, it's not worth the pussy. He just got out. He was getting some high class 50 year old chicks to blow him, and he's just like, this is still too much. What about him? GSP or cost check? What about him? You can't just say GSP, say you guys name. Oh, you don't even have a question, you fuck. How hammered are you off these Bud Lights? <laughs> I probably is, yeah. Probably so. I think it is. What, what is the percent? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not sure it's not good. What is the percentage of alcohol in this stuff? Four? Oh, well, we, I think we have five. It's much higher, right? For a light beer. Light beer is always lower, right? Is that what the deal is? It's just queer, bro. What the fuck? Come on. When you're drinking, you gotta earn it. You're fucking drunk. This is a sloppy, slow drunk. You don't earn it, man. Earn your shit, son. So trying to help the kid. Trying to stop arms and knowledge. Dave Chappelle. What's up with Carlos Mencia? You tell me. <laughs> Carlos Mencia is just like that guy that got fucked to death by the horse. Here's why. Because people like that, people like that are here to let you know that you're going to be okay. When you see someone who does something absolutely horrible, the worst thing about things like that is that you go, man, could that possibly be me? Could I have ever been that fucked up in my life? Sometimes we all get critical. You get too hypercritical of yourself. I know I do. Sometimes I'm stuck in traffic and I'm like, I'm fucking bored and I shit my pants again. It's like, I'm a fucking loser. Like, what am I? I owe money, I got bad taxes. I Watch a guy like Carlos Garcia or watch a guy get fucked up by a horse and you go, Fine. <laughs> it's a whole spectrum of human behavior. The reason why a guy like Carlos Mencia stands out, he's, it's, he's here to teach us. He's here to teach us. He can't be full of shit anymore. The same thing as Wendy Lee saying is teaching everybody. There's no more secrets. We're going to get to a weird point in time, but there's no more secrets. You can't just steal material and let everybody think that you're awesome because eventually people are going to talk to you. They're going to find out you're retarded. Where are you coming up with this material? <laughs> is a strange thing and I don't know exactly how to do it. I'm going to be honest with you. I do it and I've been doing it for a long time, but every time right before I go on stage, I swear to God I think this. I go, do I really know what the fuck I'm doing? <laughs> every single time. Including tonight. I was really high though. That's one of the reasons why. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Like I do know that I know how to do it, but the point is when you're doing it, you're not really doing it. I'm as much of a passenger as I am the driver. And 
that's what comedy really is all about. It's like I'm figuring out how to get you guys yeah. to laugh, how to tune into it. It's not like, yeah, you're the right. shit, I'm up here, I'm the fucking shit, I'm gonna show you I'm the shit. <laughs> the problem is the bombing part. To figure this out, you gotta do a lot of shit that doesn't work. And bombing on stage is like sucking a thousand dicks in front of your mother, right? <laughs> It might be worse, because someone out there might be into sucking a thousand dicks in front of their mother. There might be that one freak who said, that's his shit. Like, my mom likes it, I like it, who are you? <laughs> and I'm not, you know, but there's no one who likes bombing on stage. It's just, it's, hold on, dude, what did we say, you fuck? Look at me, fucking asshole. That's why marijuana is better than alcohol, right there. It is, it is, it's better, it's better. It's not better for everything. It's, like I said, eating ass. You definitely want alcohol. You don't, you don't really eat ass when you're stoned. When you're stoned, you get really close to it and you go, that's a terrible idea. I gotta go. <laughs> Do you want to sit down or something? No, she don't. Are you approaching the stage with a conversation? Because that's not necessary. I don't know. You can go back where you were. We cannot. You have a silly question. Well, I guarantee you it is silly, for sure. If you were willing to walk all the way up to the stage. No, you can't come up here. No, no, stay, stay right down there. You're alright. No, 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 no. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're not part of the show. You're not part of the show. Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, I think you're crazy, right? How crazy? One to ten, eight, nine. What do you got? Wow. My crazy alarm's going off like a motherfucker. No, we got it. This has to come to a conclusion, sir. Understand how a crowd works. Like it's three times to see you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. You think I'm sexy? Oh shit! I should talk to you. <laughs> what? Yeah, but you're with, aren't you with a man? Broken got a stalker. I watch you. I got a bunch, dude. I got a hand them shit it's like six feet and boys. But I was wondering. I've seen you like three times. Yes. I'm Shafir Ari Shafir. Do you like Ari Shafir? Yeah! Do you like to have sex with him? Because I got a raise that he'll fuck you. He likes to fuck you. Yeah. He doesn't even worry about it. No kind of pillow, does he, Karen? Yeah, he's got theories. Joey Diaz has the same theory. Joey Diaz says if he has to use a condom, he's too ugly. By the time he gets the condom on, they change their mind. I don't know. I have no fucking clue what she was to ask. He's thinking about having kids lately. As long as you can't move to America, he might shoot a load of you up in Canada and then just have a kid that he can visit on his terms. <laughs> so if you're uh, amicable with that, I'll give you his Facebook page. Wait! Oh, sorry. My question. I'm trying to make some comedy. Yeah. Well, I've seen, like, I've seen him in stuff. You've seen him? Yes. I've seen him. He was like really, um, like, uh, up to it and stuff. I'm sorry, like, he showed, look, 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 I saw him, like, show his parts and stuff. So I'm showing his parts? I was wondering if you would, like, do the same. Oh. 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 That, that is the most convoluted asking a dude to see his Oh my god. In the history. Oh my god. Oh. That a chick has asked a dude to pull his dick out. That might be the most remote. <laughs> There's unnecessary words in there. So he went on a crazy story about just not retarded. Are you from Are you from another country besides Canada? Was like, you don't seem Canadian. Are you from another country? I am Canadian. You're full Canadian. You were born here. You have a you have an accent that's like an Indian accent. I just want to know about your culture or whatever. If you're from another place where this is common talk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Why is he? But I don't know. It's like in your country, when you enjoy a show, you ask the guy to pull his cock out. High five girl. High five. High five. High five.
High five. High five. High five, he says. High five. This is definitely going on YouTube. Oh fuck high yes it is. Up. I got some balls. And that high is so again. wrong. Yes. High five for some balls. Yes. That was beyond wrong. And this is YouTube right now.